Well, good morning guys. We got another beautiful day here in the Everglades. This is day number three. If you're uh, just tuning in now, I have made two videos already by now in the Everglades, catching all sorts of fish. So be sure to check those out before you watch this one. But uh, yeah, day three, weather looks amazing yet again. It's actually really cold right now. That's one thing I've noticed in the mornings. I don't know if it's just this time of year or just like the area it does this, but it get, drops down to like 65, even lower. 63 degrees, 63 now. degrees right now at um, 6.45 in the morning, which is crazy because today it'll probably end up close to 90. Um, so that's very interesting to me, but yeah. We got a good day ahead of us. We're really gonna try to target those Goliaths today. We're really gonna try to dial them in, which I hope we can. I thought they would be easier, as I've said before, and they are kind of tricky, at least for us. So we're about to head on out here, shoot on out of the, uh, I keep wanting to say the marsh. I don't know if you would consider this the marsh, um, but we're gonna shoot on out to the outside and go look for some fish. So stay tuned, hopefully we get them. I'm excited, let's do this. something. There we go. Oh, it's a snook. That took two casts in, sitting on the log there. Somehow missed the hook set. I thought it was going to be a grouper. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a grouper too. <laughs> that was a good thump. We're missing them. What are we doing wrong? Grouper slapped me right in the shin. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't found trout after that. Oh, there we go. That's a good snook. Right on those glass windows like we thought. Jeez. That is a good snook. Well, I'm ready for Goliaths. That's what I'm ready for. Man, that water is hot. All right, guys. First fish of the day. It's just a little, uh, about a maybe 20 inch snook and uh, grab that gulp shrimp. But we just can't get away from these guys. They're pretty much everywhere. And this one's been caught before too. You can see that hole right there. That is not from my hook. Looks like it's healing up. So that's kind of crazy. Actually, maybe it is from my hook. I can't even tell. What do you think? You think that was from my hook? He shot the lure out. It looks like he might've been caught before because it looks like that hole is healing. There he goes. Let's keep going. Oh, hit that. Yep, 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 yep. There we go, I got him. There we go. <laughs> That's a trout, I think. Or a little snook? It's a trout. There we go. We meet again. Right after I mentioned it, I haven't seen a trout since the first day. I definitely don't think that's what blew up over there, but... Alright. We're in the multi-species already. Check that out, a guy. Nice speckled trout. Speckled sea trout. Gold muncher. Hard. 
<laughs> yeah, that'll work the paint off the skag, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe we just gotta send it for redfish on the north wind day. Chew. Chew. Double. Double mang. I'll take it. I'll take it. I had to. We had to get us rolling again. Yours is actually pretty good size. I'll take a snooker. Mine might be ten. Mangrove snapper. I will take it. This is my first mangrove of the trip. He's very tiny. There it goes. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, nice snook came out of the, from under it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I had when he thumped under that. Uh, it's a decent one. I think this was. I think this is about my biggest one of the trip. Got that lockdown drag. I was thinking Goliath when he thumped down there under the under the trees. All right, all right. Just took a little spot change to find some fish here. Man, this thing's really crazy. Yeah, I think that's. He's probably close to my the biggest of the trip. Yeah, that's the biggest of the trip for me. I think. He's probably 24 inches yeah, about. 24. Let's measure him. He is 23. About 23 and a half. Got him there on that orange gulp shrimp. And I think that's my last gulp shrimp I have in the boat. I'll have to throw a, a jerk shad here. Look at that. Nice water. Really nice water. Send this guy on his way. See ya! God. He's going out. He's going out. Oh. Watch out. I might have got to go around the engine here. Yeah. Come on, girl. Come on. That would be a big one for anywhere. Oh, my gosh. Stay with me. I think I can grab her right now. No, 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 no. Oh my god, that was sick. <laughs> yep. Mid cast too, swam under, like in between me and the cast, and I just worked it right in front of her. It's hooked on the outside, good hook set. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, hey, they switched up real quick. This fish is probably 30, 31 probably. Here, I'll pull her out. Oh. Woo. I'll let go like me. Stay with me. There we go. That is a big Everglades snook. Yeah, probably about 31, 32. Good one. Literally mid cast. See this thing go cruising in uh, about four or five feet of water. Twitch, twitch, twitch over its head. And he inhaled it. So sick. Came on the uh, Berkeley jerk shad. And I like chrome gold color. But get this girl back. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Got that out. All right. How about that one? That's a good snook. Should be just ready to go. Spin around here. She goes. What the heck? Heck yeah, check this out. That's on that bait right there. This big gold Berkeley gold jerk shad. That's sick. That is so sick. We switched up the game plan and we found the fish like pretty much instantly. It's so crazy.
Two, two. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oops, I'm switching. Oh, oh, that one got it. Not the one that we wanted, though. I lost him. Man. He was inter- he was- That- Maybe. If there's one on the bottom, though. We have a mini mullet tied up? Yeah. I mean, you could try it, because I have something kind of subsurface. That was almost like a, if he would have ate that there, would, would you have been pissed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then cut the hook like he ate it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, Nick just knocked out a nice snook on the, uh, whoa. What was that, mini mullet? Mini mullet. Mini mullet after throwing uh, the paddle tail for a long while. I think this is my first fish in like five hours. Here, let me see him. You can hold him up. That's a good one, too. That is a really good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Mangroves are eating me while I'm dangling my lure. All right, we're trying our best to really find, well, Nick just got that one. I'm trying to find just one more fish to wrap up today. It's currently 3.15. That would put us fishing for, well, quite a few hours today. Probably eight hours. And uh, I'm just praying I can find one more good fish here.